Hi, this is Jake with LifelinePetSupplies.com. Today I'm covering removing the right-hand panel for a fuse replacement on the Arcom Pet Breeder 90 model. The first thing you want to do um, is remove the tray. And I do want to note that this will also cover the Pet Breeder 60 model. The only difference in between is the 90 is the large and the 60 is the small. Um, the 60 is just a little bit shorter than this unit, actually about 16 inches internally, whereas the Pet Breeder 90 is 24. So go ahead and remove the gray tray completely from the unit and set that to the side. Also make sure at the back that you have unplugged from any power source and your cord is set aside here. Remove the gray cover from the back near the water where the water connection goes. You're going to see a screw here. That screw needs to be removed. Please note that the screw that you just removed, the first screw, for the water connection is smaller than the other screws that you will remove. The next step is to come around to the front of the machine. And on the right hand panel here, you will find four additional screws inside. All these screws need to be removed as well. They are located at the bottom, here, here, here. And then you have another fourth screw here. Remove those screws completely from the unit. Once those screws have been completely removed from the unit, you will be able to pull the side panel slightly away from the unit. Please note that your plexiglass door at the front may pop out from the side hinge. Sometimes that's easily to be removed. If it does pop out from the side, simply pull out from the other side and set the door to the side to make sure it's not damaged. Once you've set the, door, the plexiglass door to the side, you will be able to remove the side panel. You'll want to gently do this as there's two connections you need to be very careful with on the unit. The first connection is inside at the back, the water tubing connection to the inside. Make sure that it's clear of all water. Reach your hand to the inside and pull that tubing from the top gently. That will disconnect the water tubing inlet hose. The next connection you need to be very careful with is this ribbon style connection at the front. You want to reach inside and gently use your index and thumb to pull the membrane ribbon from the unit. Once you have that disconnected, you may gently pull the side from the unit and set it in a safe area. Please note the once you remove the membrane, to always reinstall it the way it was originally connected. Now that we've got the side panel removed, we'll come to the side so we can locate the fuse. The top control card is here. The heater, PTC heater and filter systems are here. Underneath that, you will find the main display board. The fuse is located to the right hand side of this. It's a 250 volt, 10 amp, slow reaction fuse. As you can see here, we need to remove that fuse. You can do that by simply using a fuse holder or pulling the fuse out. Once you have removed the fuse, make sure to take the fuse with you to a hardware store or order a factory replacement on our website at lifelinepetsupplies.com. You can test the continuity of the fuse to see if the fuse is indeed bad with a multi-tester. You can also take this to most hardware stores or electronic or auto stores and they will test it for you. Once you have a new fuse or two, replace one fuse back into the unit and replace the side panels as noted prior, reversing the original steps. Make sure when you connect the side panel that the power is in the power slot is in its place that you make sure to reconnect the tubing for the water and that you also ensure to get the ribbon membrane ribbon secured correctly. Make sure to reconnect the water tubing properly first as you put the side panel on and the membrane ribbon make sure not to twist it. The membrane should be with the lighter colors up and the darker colors facing the back. Reinstall that properly. Securely fasten the side panel back and test the unit prior to reinstalling the screws.